So you want to explode stuff quickly. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to use the quick explode feature, um, which is super handy. There's a quick smoke, there's a quick explode, there's a quick fur, there's a quick all this other stuff. And today we're looking at the quick explode, which is pretty sweet. We're gonna use the default camera lamp and cube today. Everything we need, everything can stay. I'm gonna be adding a plane in, so we're gonna hit Shift A or go over here to Create, and we're gonna drag this panel up so we see a bit better what we're doing. And we'll add in a plane right there. Hit S to scale that on up. Just something about right there. Not to be too big. We will right click the cube and move this up by hitting G Z on our keyboard. Just move that on up like that. Just so it's a bit above the uh, the plane. Uh, so what we're going to do is hit space on my keyboard. And we can actually type in quick quick explode right there. Just type in quick. No, quick spelled correctly. Quick. And then we'll get uh, quick smoke for explode and fluid. We can do quick explode. Uh, which is really nice or we can actually just go over here and add in and explode ourself in the uh in the in the modifiers tab right there explode but i will be using quick explode today so after we have our quick explode uh modifier on there with the space bar we can go ahead and actually get started now if i play this you should be able to see that we have a really weird kind of explosion that's not very realistic at all which is just kind of just it just breaks into a couple of different weird shaped pieces and the reason for this is because we don't have any uh, subdivision on this cube here. So I hit tab on my keyboard and go into edit mode, going over to tools and hit subdivide a couple times. We'll just hit that maybe three times for the first example here. And if I go back and we do this again, you can see that we have this really cool. Um, we have more pieces, which is which is nicer, right? But it still looks kind of weird. Kind of just pops, right? Kind of just pops into random different pieces, which doesn't look like it, nothing would explode that way. Um, so we have something pretty cool so far, but we can make this even better by uh, heading on over to the uh, particles tab here. And you can scroll on down here. You can see a couple different uh, settings. You have, of course, the particle, just the regular particle settings. But if we head on down to rotation and check rotation, you should be able to see instantly we have a bit of a different thing. Let me play this through. Um, we'll have a bit of a different effect here, which is really nice. So if we go ahead, downsize that uh, rotation and, and check dynamic. You should be able to see that we have something really cool. I'll go ahead and I'll subdivide this a couple more times. What we need to do is go back to the modifiers tab and hit refresh. We go ahead and refresh. You can see that we have a much nicer kind of explode. You can see that it actually looks like it's actually exploding from that cube shape instead of just popping into a random different location. We can actually uncheck. If you want, you can uncheck dynamic. I do like it better when it's uh, when when it's 100% flush. So we'll hit refresh again. You can see that now we have that 100% looking like it's just a cube breaking apart, which is really nice. So if I go ahead and I play this, looks much more realistic, like it's actually just breaking apart, which is super, super cool. Now, these pieces are pretty thin, as you can see. They're pretty thin. They're actually 100% like paper. There's no width to them at all. The way we can fix this is go ahead and add a modifier. This modifier is going to be a solidify modifier. Now you can see we have a bit more of an edge. We can turn that thickness up, and now we can actually have thick solid pieces so if i go ahead and i play this you should be able to see we have those nice those nice cube like edges which is super super cool all right so uh we can play around with a couple of these settings here uh like the cut edges uh to make this a bit more voxel like we can actually uncheck cut edges so instead of it being more jiggy jiggy jaggy ziggy zaggy jigsaw puzzle type we can actually make something looks more more like minecraft i suppose right so we have a bit of a explosion right there which is really really nice all right we can actually we can also uh check a couple of more things we can do size to make this uh, to make the pieces really small but uh, i don't recommend that since it kind of just looks like it's you know popping away so that looks pretty good for the time being what we can do is go ahead and add that solidify surface back on so now we have the thick cube pieces which is pretty nice and the last thing i want to do is i want to add some collision to this plane so they kind of just stop and fall on the plane instead of falling straight through it like like that so now they're falling through the plane. We don't want that. We want them to bounce. So what we can do is we can go ahead and with our plane selected, we'll go to the uh, the phys physics tab, add on a collision physic. And with this, we'll turn up the permeability and the stickiness just a little bit. So what we have here, you can see we have a bit more. Uh, it's actually colliding with the plane now, which is nice. But what I'm going to do is I want to turn up the particle damping because it's uh, it, they're, they're bouncing a bit too much for my taste. Turn up the random a little bit too. We can go ahead and do something like that. I'll turn the the uh, lifetime of the particles up to 200, by the way. And I'll turn our in frame to 200 as well. So now the particles will live longer. All right, looks pretty good so far. They're still falling through a little bit. So I want to actually turn that down. Turn the permeability down 
Uh, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll leave it all the way on zero. Why not? Yeah, sure. I don't want anything to fall through. So they're kind of sliding like it's ice. So I'm going to go ahead and turn up that friction to uh, to make them not slide anymore. You see we have a bit of friction there, which is nice. And I also want to turn the random up for that as well. We'll turn it all the way up. Why not? Turn the random up for all the way. Random is always a bit better. Have those pieces that fall out a little bit like that. Maybe the damping random should be about halfway. I don't want them to bounce as much as is possible. Something like that, maybe. And the stickiness is what's really going to help us. So if I, put, if I put this stickiness on zero, you should be able to see that they uh, do a lot a lot of bouncing and really bouncy, really bouncy. If we turn it all the way up, they kind of just smack there and just stay where they are. So I'll leave that on somewhere around three, I suppose. Eh, maybe two. I want them to bounce a little bit. Eh, maybe even less than that. Yeah, one looks pretty good. We'll do one. Maybe 1.3. 1.3, yeah, sure. All right, so uh, I can turn the in-frame to 100, even even less than that. Maybe even 60 or 50. Yeah, 50 looks pretty good. All right, so that is our our cube that explodes into, like, Minecraft-looking little tiny pieces, which is really pretty sweet. All right, so that is going to be it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next tutorial, but until then, bye.